Hi, I'm Sheila from Organic Gardening Seeds to Harvest, and today I'm going to show you how to make compost tea. We are making a compost tea that will be bacterial based, which is the best kind for your vegetable gardens. So today I've gotten, I've already pulled out the compost from my worm bed, and here's my worm bed, and I had fed the worms over on this side where you see all the newspaper so there were hardly any worms in this in this compost and I didn't have to work too hard to get the compost out and now that I've gotten it all out and into the cups I'm going to cover that back up so they'll be nice and happy and cool and, and be continue making compost for me but this is about four inches four cups of vermicompost which is worm compost. And I am going to put it into this bag that is basically just a bag I saved from buying citrus. I'm going to put it into there. I have already gotten my water and left it sitting for a day so that all the chlorine, because we're on city water, we have chlorine. So I've left my water in this five gallon bucket setting for a day so that all of that chlorine gas evaporates and it will be very good. Because the chlorine does what it's supposed to, it kills bacteria. So now I've poured my vermicompost in here and I am going to take it and tie it over here so that it's suspended into the water. I don't want it to be completely on the bottom. I just want it to be suspended so that the air can get all the way around it. Some people use pantyhose to do that, and I suggest using something a little bit more porous, but it does mean at the, on the final product that you're going to need to strain it. So now the next thing is we want to give it plenty of air so that it can work and bubble and make good, rich, bacteria-rich compost for our garden. And I just purchased a little aqua aquarium air pump and I attached the, the tubes on it that have the rocks, the rocks on the bottom that give, let the air bubble the out. Air stones, and I've used them quite a few times, and each time you use them, you need to wash them so that you won't be introducing any bad bacteria into your mix. But now I'm going to put those in, and to make the bacteria work really well, you use, you add some kind of sweetener, some kind of sugar, and I use the horticultural molasses. And I measured out two tablespoons. That's the correct amount for four to five gallons of water. And I'll just pour that in there too. And I'll take the water and just rinse it out so that I get it all out. And then I'm just going to plug in my air stones and let them begin bubbling. And this will sit for about a day and a half or two days before it's actually finished. If you want to just pour your compost tea into a garden bed, then you don't have to strain it. But if you're going to put it in one of the sprayers, you will need to strain it after you're finished. But this will sit, it will get big bubbles initially as it begins to ferment and to grow the bacteria. And then the bubbles will get little bitty and tiny. And that's when you know that your compost tea is finished and it's ready to spray on the leaves of your plants or pour into the beds around your plants to give them all they need to grow organically. Thanks for watching.